Hello everybody. I hope you're having a great day. I am because I'm getting ready to paint. I've been waiting to do it. It's after lunchtime and I'm just now getting the opportunity to paint. So I want to quickly go through the colors that I'm using today. All Deco Art. So here are the colors. I've got uh, some in a little bit of cups mixed up. I have some in squeeze bottles. So I'm going to be using a little bit of both. Everything is mixed one to one ratio with Floetrol latex base. So that's what's the pouring medium is one to one back to my regular recipe. And then I don't add water to the Deco Art bottle paints. I do add like if I use the premium which is in a tube, anything in a tube is always going to be thicker. So that has a little bit of water added to it. And then I add spot on treadmill lubricant, a, a drop per ounce of paint mixture. So if I've got say three or four ounces then I put three or four drops in a cup. And then everything gets mixed and then put into a squeeze bottle if at all possible because you get more control. But like this green I had mixed up and poured into this bottle and it's full to the top so I've got a little green left in my cup I'm going to use first. Things like that. But very quickly the colors that I'll be using I'll be swiping with black and lamp black and that's in a squeeze bottle one to one ratio with Floetrol, no silicone. And my white never has silicone. And the white is snow or titanium white. So very quickly, the other colors. I have a mixture of marigold, cadmium yellow, bright orange, true red, carousel pink, alizarin crimson, and then my Magenta color is a mixture of primary magenta, vivid violet, a little alizarin crimson. I just kind of mix it till I get it to the vibrant point that I want it to be. It's often that I don't have a color that I want and I'll mix my own. Dioxazine purple is the deep purple and also in a bottle. Ultra blue deep is in a bottle. The teal mint is in this little cup here. Sour apple is in a bottle. Festive Green is in the cup and in the bottle. So the squeeze bottle I have and the little bit in the cup here are Peacock Teal. And then this color here in the bottle is a combination of Bluegrass Green, Desert Turquoise, and Evergreen. And a little bit of Ultra Blue Deep to make that very vibrant, deep peacock what I call a peacock color. Like I said, everything has silicone. All the colors have silicone in it, but not the white or the black. So today I am doing another version of the painting I did the other day, which was just a 12 by 12 inch canvas. It was just a foot square. This was the one I did, and I called it Abstract Garden. And I want to do this again, but on a 16 by 20. So it'll be that much larger and I'm going to maybe add a third blossom at the bottom. And uh, I wanted to add a little bit more vibrant, vibrancy, a little bit more color into my swiping. And um, so that I'm, besides the yellow which I had in it, I'm adding the deeper golden color. And then I had sour apple in it and I'm putting the green and I'm going to add the peacock color which was not in there but the turquoise was in there and I'm adding the teal mint and the ultra blue deep and uh, I'm going to put a smidge of purple as well. So I'm going to make the, the swipe just a little bit different hopefully it'll still kind of come out the same because uh, there's a person I was doing this for as a wedding gift. Well, I was doing a bunch of canvases and I was going to let her choose what she wanted for her wedding gift. She picked one of my very colorful rainbow ones. And then when I did this one, she said, oh no, this is my favorite now. And I said, well, it's only 12 inches square. And I said, do you want me to do a bigger one? And she said, if you want to. 
and of course I always want to because I love doing this so that's why I'm trying a bigger canvas what I'm going to do though is it's going to be swiped with black which will be at the top and I'm going to swipe towards me so I'm going to go dark to light so I'm going to finish up this purple in this cup and actually I'm going to throw in a little bit of the purple rain just a little bit to add a lighter streak of that purple and I am going I, I don't I think I swiped with a scraper the other day for the abstract garden but I'm going to use a, wet, a damp paper towel to swipe this with a little bit of this ultra blue deep and that's all I'm going to do of the purples and blue and then the rest of these colors will be more true to the original color <clears throat> So I'm going to start, I'm going to do the peacock teal here, and I may kind of vary these a little bit. And I want this just to be basically the lightest color here. So a little bit of the sour apple, a little bit of the gold, marigold color. So I got plenty of paint on this canvas, plenty. And so put the black on. So these are my two paper towel pieces I have ready. I'm going to have to do two swipes because it's not wide enough to do the whole canvas at one time. So I'm going to do it about halfway over. Let my paper towel lay down in the black. just like the last time I did this. So I'm going to put this back. This is also going to be the end where the flowers are going to be because they're going to be in the dark part. So now the other half. So, you know, there's thicker black here and less thicker black here. What I'm going to do is try to drag the black up into this purple a little bit. I don't want that much purple showing. So I'm just very gently trying to get it to come up a little bit into that. And then this little patch. Like I am 
barely skimming the surface because otherwise it's going to go straight down to the canvas. I'm going to use my heat gun. So right in the area where I swiped beside each other, I'm just trying to go back and add in a little bit of the colors to see if that will kind of fill in that area a little bit. So now I'm going to turn it around. So the last time I did some dribbles of the colors. Peacock color. And I might even put a little bit in some of the turquoise. Well, the teal mint, it's not turquoise. Because there's blue and purple, I'll do a little bit of the blue. So now what I'm going to do is blow. I kind of wish this area were a little lighter. So yeah, just blowing on it a little bit will expand the cells a bit. But I think before I even go any further, Go ahead and do some leaves. So I've lost my butter knife somewhere. It's around somewhere. I'm not sure where. So I'm swiping these leaves in before I do my flower. Skewer, I'm just going to drag it around just a little bit. I think I'm going to do three flowers, one in the center and two kind of in the curve of things. So I'm going to start with this. It's kind of a, that one I forgot to mention is a mixture of coral blush and baby pink. So it's kind of a muted down pink with a little warm edge to it. I'm going to put a little bit of orange on it. Maybe just a little bit of white right along the edge there. Flowers are not one of my strengths. Um, I did it on this one, but I, I don't think I had much luck with it, but at least it kind of looks like flowers, which is what I want it to look like. So what I'm going to keep doing is just building it up. So 
Stick a little alizarin crimson. Primary magenta. This is the carousel pink. Okay, I like that, but I'm going to do a little bit of white at the top part of that pink. I'm going to do red, orange, so I'm going to warm it up a bit because the, the alizarin crimson and the carousel pink are, you know, cooler, so now I'm going to do the warmer. I'll do this first before I add yellow. Get a little deeper down at the bottom. And we add just a little bit more orange. And this has a little dribble of where the color sprayed out, and I don't like it, so I'm gonna just. Dip my finger in and try to get rid of that line. So basically, I think I have the shapes in the way I kind of like them for the flowers. So now I'm just going to go back in and just add a little bit of a white outline just to kind of help define them a little bit. Not a whole lot, but. And then down here, And now I want, to, I want to do something through here. So, and the other thing I want, I want to put something in here just to add a little bit of something. Try one out and see how it looks the way, I'll, if it happens the way I envision it. Oh, blowing works too. So maybe just a few little like buds. And if you didn't have squeeze bottles, you could do it with a stick. It would take some finesse a little bit. I 
I like that white. Yeah, I like that. Ooh. That's happy feeling. Happy, happy. So now I'm just going to come back and do my green again just to make it work. Make sure my buds have a an actual vine that they're growing from. Just white in my hand. Because if I if I drip it on there, it's gonna be like super heavy. Maybe just a hair. right here at the bottom of the flower. A little purple rain, a little bit of magenta. I'm going to stick some orange back on here. And red. One green. See how it looked if I swiped it. That one looks like a leaf, even though it's part of the cells. This one does kind of too. I'm trying to. So I'm just getting the the green color off the. I think I'm done. That one is kind of just bland. Swipe a little of that peacock color through it. I love this. This is awesome. I hope she does. I think it's pretty darn awesome. I don't want it, I don't want it to drift anymore, so I'm not gonna let's see if I can lift this up and show you without screwing it up. And there's the top. There's the flowers. I think she's going to like it. <laughs> so, let me put this away. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.